Uh, Wyndham Clark put up a heck of a fight. Didn't have his best stuff. Had that four-shot lead through 36 holes. Uh, came into today's final round, one back. And here we go to the 18th. This is one we're going to uh, replay for as long as this championship is contested. Uh, just birdied 17. This one looks dead in the jaws. A little too much pace. That was harsh. It, it was. Look, he didn't have his best stuff on the greens, but he fought hard, didn't he? He missed that close eagle putt at the second. He missed it from close distance for par at the 10th. He missed the close eagle putt at the 16th, but did birdie 16 hit the shot of the tournament for him probably at the 17th? So he finishes tied for second. It is a round of 69 for Wyndham Clark. Ouch. Yeah, here's Wyndham. Wyndham, good uh, fight back on the last three there. Can you take us through that last putt and and I mean, how how certain were you that it was in? It looked it looked like you were yeah, walking I mean, after it. It was coming with some speed too. I I don't know how that putt doesn't go in. It was uh, you know kind of right center with I feel like a foot to go, and I knew it was going to keep breaking, but it had speed and thought I was going to go inside left, and then even when it kind of seemed to lip, I thought it would lip in. So I mean, I'm pretty gutted it didn't go in. Are you a guy that wants to hit it with enough speed because you have pretty good speed on 17 with that putt and then send the speed on 18? Are you one of those guys that doesn't diet in the hole? Uh, I mean, I wish I would have had more speed on 16 because then we'd be in a playoff. But um, I, I, I mean, I, my speed, I try to keep it really constant, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it fluctuates. I do hit my short putts pretty firm. Um, I've been known to do that, and I just try to take the break out of it. And then... The one on 18, I mean, I, I wanted to try to make the putt. I, I didn't really care about the second putt. Um, you know, we've already had a good start to the year. I wanted to be in the playoffs, so I went for it. Not the result you wanted, obviously, but what positives will you walk away with? Um, you know, I, I just played back-to-back -back weeks on two pretty challenging golf courses that I traditionally haven't done very well on and just went second and second, so... Um, you know, I'll take those pauses. I played awesome in both uh, both weeks. And I'll also take that I, I can play in the moment, in any moment, against the best players in the world on the best golf courses. I mean, I almost birdied the last three at one of the most iconic golf courses. So, you know, once, you know, maybe next week sometime I'll, um, you know, I'll really be able to look at those positives and feel good about it. But right now I'm pretty down. At what point did you realize, here comes Scotty, and what were you thinking? Uh, on 11, I, I looked, the first time I really looked at the leaderboard and, you know, I kind of chuckled and said, yeah, of course. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, he's the best player in the world. Uh, and then you guys lose a lot more than you, than you win in this game, but the, the way that this happened on the 72nd hole, uh, how does it compare to some of the other feelings you've had walking off the golf course with close calls? Um, I, you know... Obviously, there's positives in it. I, you know, you finish second, you get a bunch of points and money and all that stuff, but it, it just sucks. I mean, I've always wanted and dreamt about making a putt that really mattered to either force a playoff or win a tournament, and it's uh, I've yet to do it in my professional career, so I was pretty bummed that I didn't have one of those uh, really awesome, awesome moments. So, um, but yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm still a little beside myself. I, I'm shocked. I'm just so shocked that button didn't go in. Wyndham, you ended up playing the hole really well, but was driver a consideration on 18 or was it iron? No, I, with the downwind, I mean, I had a pitching wedge in. I don't know what more you could ask for. I thought I'm a huge guy. I've just always given myself a chance. Um, I felt like if I hit driver, I wasn't guaranteed birdie. Um, and I thought I could lose the tournament by hitting driver. So I thought hitting four iron out there. And like I did most of the days, and I had um, a pitching wedge in, and I mean, I hit two, per three perfect shots, and unfortunately, wasn't enough. Did you hit the putt you wanted? The on. Yeah, no, I hit it perfect. I hit it perfect. It rolled end over end, and had the speed to go in. What's this do for you heading into major season? These two performances, you seem like you were really into it today. I mean, getting fired up pretty much the whole round. Yeah, um, you know I. I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, these two seconds are just leading to something greater. So I'm, uh, you know, I believe that. And, you know, 
I hope that maybe these shortcomings in these last couple weeks, yeah, lead to something greater. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to what's ahead. Good. Thanks, guys. Here we go again. When you think about brutal lip outs, Tiger, that putt for 62 at the 07 PGA at Southern Hills. Nick Price, the horseshoe, third round of the Masters in 86. That was for 62. USN 2012 at Cherry Hills. Michael Weaver. Yeah, this game can just gut you.